So we're going to move on to relative velocity. So like if you're a guy in the river, canoeing down the river, and so you're going like this, and the river's pushing you that way, right? Your relative velocity is what you think you're going, but the actual velocity is that one. So like from your point of view, your velocity is boat or plane relative to wind. But then there's the actual boat or plane velocity. Now maybe this example will help. Let's try this one. Little plane, but then a strong wind pushes it. It's pushing it east. Okay, so if the if the plane is traveling at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour relative to the wind, what is its actual velocity? So we have the wind speed 20i. We've got 20 and 30. What is its actual... So we're trying to figure out what the actual plane speed... Sorry, the actual velocity is. So we've got positive J, positive I. Is that making sense so far? You can also write it as V-P-R-E-L-W. So... You may remember, because I just gave it to you, VP is VPW plus VW. So that was the rule I just gave you. So the velocity of the plane is equal to the velocity of the plane relative to the wind plus the velocity of the wind. So it's 30J plus 20I. Done. So we found the actual velocity. But then I added an extra question. What is the actual speed and direction? Pythag. So we need to figure out direction and speed. So we often use the absolute signs to change velocity to speed. So this is the magnitude. Yes, we should. Yes. All right. And how do we find the direction? The opposite. Do the opposite. Divided by the adjacent. So that's the actual speed going in this direction. Oh yes, you have to have a zero at the front for tree bearing, I think. Yes. Sorry, I always get confused. So there's our, there's our speed and there's our true bearing or true direction. So she wants to fly to her babies 20 kilometers from her at a position north West, 30 degrees. She should head. And then she's going to be pushed by the wind. So trying to figure out what this is. So trick to this, the air, uh, the wind is from the east and it's 9 degrees to north. We know that the chick's bearing is 30 degrees, so this is a right angle triangle. So this angle in here is 60 degrees. So then we can figure out, using this non-right angle, what this is, and then we can minus that away from 30 to get that.
Do you remember any uh, triangle rules for non right angle triangles? Sine and cosine? Very good. So we've got an angle, we want to find an angle, and we've got two sides. So that's the sine rule. And we want the angle, so we put the angle up the top. Sine, angle, what's the opposite to x side? 40. Sine of the angle, what's the opposite of the angle 60 degrees? Do you guys remember this, the sine rule? So how do we get how do we get the 40 on the bottom over? Times. So now we do the inverse of sine to both sides and we type all of that into our calculator. So putting into calculator, thank you, 18.36, and we minus that away from 30 and we get theta. Now the falcon knows the direction she needs to travel. Does the falcon do How did she know? She's just a genius.